here with fast fuel systems. Now you kind of might be wondering what's behind me here. It looks a little bit like a laboratory. Well, we've spent the last couple of weeks building this water separator demonstration stand. Now it's going to show exactly how well the new extreme water separator works. I'll walk you through all the steps and exactly show you exactly how this test is going to be performed. On this side, we have a competitor's unit. It's a 165 gallon per hour system. We have one of their water separators and fuel filters, untampered with. They're still in the plastic wrap. And on this side, we have our titanium signature series, also 165 gallons per hour. Once again, filters, untouched, still in the plastic wrap. Now this is our particulate filter, PF3001, and our extreme water separator, XWS3002. Once we get the filters installed on each system, our fuel lines are going to be plumbed into all these cylinders here. And I'll kind of explain what these are for. So this big cylinder right in the center, as of right now, this is pure diesel fuel, nice and clean. We're going to be pouring 190 milliliters of water in this cylinder. We have a standalone fuel pump back here, no filtration. It's going to act as a blender pump. Once I kick it on, all the free water sitting in the bottom of this tank will become emulsified. Emulsified water is much more difficult to separate than free water. So again, it will just be showing how well that filter works. Or extreme water separator, I should say. The fast system is going to be pumping into this cylinder over here. This is going to represent the engine on your truck. Once the fuel starts coming up the cylinder, you're going to notice it's going to take this cloudy fuel, run it through the fast, and it's going to be nice and clean. It's going to be removing all of that water. Now on this side, you'll notice it's still going to be pretty cloudy. Might be a tad bit better than the center cylinder here, but it's not going to be removing all that water. You see, water separators of this size and that are designed to shed the water just simply aren't designed for the kind of high flow rates that an aftermarket lift pump system supplies. For example, they're, they're a filter water separator about this size is rated for about 65 gallons per hour. The smallest system, aftermarket lift pump system, is about 100 gallons per hour. So if you do the math, that just really doesn't add up. So let's go ahead and get this test started. Here's our PF3001. Now, as always, gotta make sure I get the filter nipple o ring installed. Here's our extreme water separator. Again, still in the plastic wrap. Go ahead and remove that. So let's take a look at the center cylinder here with all the diesel fuel in it. It's five gallons of diesel fuel. I'm going to be pouring in 190 milliliters of water. That's a contamination level of about 10,000 
parts per million, enough to cause an excessive amount of damage to a fuel injection system. Pour it in our funnel up here. All right, here we go. So we've just poured all that water, the 190 milliliters, and the five gallons of fuel here. And you can see most of it settled to the bottom. That would be called free water. Now we have the standalone pump here. I'm going to kick it on and turn that free water into emulsified water. And we'll let this run for a couple of minutes. As you can see, that cloudiness, that's because the water is now blended in or emulsified in that diesel fuel. I have to let it run just to make sure I get all of that free water in the suction port over here and just, again, just get it blended in very well with that diesel fuel. Looks good to me. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to have to do this with each system. I'm just connecting the suction line to the center tank. Same with the competitor's unit. Now individually, I'm going to prime each system. Now you might notice that this system did prime a little bit quicker, and that's just because of the much smaller capacity of the fuel filter and water separator. Kind of like filling a five gallon gas can or a one gallon gas can. One's gonna fill up a little bit quicker. Okay, systems are primed. Let's say we get this test started. There you have it. Pure diesel fuel again. We took all of this nasty diesel fuel that's extremely contaminated with water and we virtually removed all of the water. That's 99.96% water removal. Now let's go over here. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that didn't do much at all. That there speaks for itself. That proves how well our extreme water separator really works. A lot of people questioned when we switched over to the extreme water separator that no longer has a drain. They were a little bit confused on, well, how can it remove water if it doesn't have a drain? Well, the media is designed for extremely high flow systems that aftermarket lift pumps supply. The media will trap the water. It can't get through. Now, as previously discussed, these water separators of this style aren't designed for the high flow, the high fuel flow that aftermarket lift pumps supply. So 
that's it. That's the test. Pretty simple uh, and extremely effective. We hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Now let's do something cool back here. What do you say we take this nasty looking fuel, pump it back into the center cylinder, and we'll use our fast system with the extended length extreme water separator, and we'll polish it, make it look just like that fuel again.